and we have now entered the hold in the T minus count. The L clock still continues, so at the launch minus clock, we're at 18 minutes, 50 seconds until liftoff. This is the first interplanetary launch for NASA from the West Coast, but NASA is no stranger to the Atlas V rocket, which you see on your screen. In fact, this launch of InSight on the Atlas V will be the 17th time NASA has flown a spacecraft on this rocket. All previous NASA interplanetary missions have launched from Florida's Atlantic coast at either Cape Canaveral Air Force Station or the adjacent NASA's Kennedy Space Center. 25. Go Atlas. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go InSight. We're at T-minus 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero. The liftoff of the Atlas V, launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. Body rates continue to look good. Mach 1. The rocket is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Current altitude is 13 miles, downrange distance 7 miles, current velocity 1,965 miles per hour. Current velocity 4,542 miles per hour. You are looking at a live view from the Atlas V rocket. The RD-180 engine continues to burn. Flight rates continue to look good. RD-180 is still performing well. And the second sta no, stage engine, the RL-10, has ignited. And we have indication of payload fairing jettison. Looks like a good step. And the payload fairing that was encapsulating the InSight spacecraft has been jettisoned. The RL-10C engine, the second stage of the Centaur, continues to burn. And You're looking Centaur at live animation telemetry look very good. of the Centaur second stage on its flight path. Our GN-2 purge firings underway for thermal conditioning. And we have indication of spacecraft seven. At confirmation of spacecraft separation behind us in the room, uh, a lot of excited people. Now I have a short coast of approximately 34 seconds before we You're separate looking at NASA launch manager Marco Tim Dunn. A. This will be the first pair of CubeSats to go to deep space. They carry radio, high gain antenna, and propulsion system with the goal to provide data relay to the Earth from the entry, descent, and landing phase of the InSight mission. and just moments away from the first two CubeSats to deploy. And we have the first Marco A spacecraft separation. Centaur is now spinning up. First half of the 180 degree turn. Centaur has completed the turn. Now in an attitude hold for spacecraft separation. And we have indication of Marco B being deployed. And the second of two CubeSats has been deployed. 